Welcome back guys, or should I say, hey guys and welcome to another episode of Some Magical Gaming for Hogwarts Mystery Years 3 and 4, episode 58 of the season to be exact, and we continue from where we left off. Where did you find this key? I should have known there should be known you were the thief that took for, that took it from my office. You haven't changed at all since you were a student. I asked you a simple question, Mr. Filch. The last thing you want to do is make this complicated. You think you can waltz into my school and threaten me? Are you going to answer the question, or am I going to have to see exactly what you and your cat are made of? I should have hung you from your wrist when I had the chance. You never had a chance at anything. Tell me where you got it. Uh, tell me where you got the key, Squib. Whoa! <laughs> it was a gift. Liar! Years ago, someone left a mysterious package in my office. There were three black quills and that key. You can keep it. It's rubbish if you ask me. Thank you for your permission. Hopefully we don't need to speak again. She's even meaner to Filch than she was to Snape. Just imagine what she'd do to you if she knew you were spying on her. Those black quills sound just like the ones R and my brother used to send secret messages. I need to keep following Rapey to see what else she knows. Please be careful, Sir Magical, and please pretend like I was never here. Welcome back. It's now time to get back to spying on Rake Pick. Here we go. What time is it? I dropped my watch in a bathtub full of whizzing worms. So magical, what a nice surprise. What brings you out of the three broomsticks? Do you want to know the truth? No. I usually do, yes. I'm here to pick up lavender for Professor Snape. But he actually has me spying on Madame Rakepick. That's dangerous business, a magical. I told you to watch yourself, Ranner. I'm being careful. She'll never know. She prides herself on knowing more than anyone. I'm inclined to think she does. Except for Professor Dumbledore, of course. I really need your help, Hagrid. If you sit here and talk to me, I can eavesdrop on Madame Rakepick. Which will please Snape. And possibly get me closer to finding the next cursed fault. Alright then. Let's raise a glass of butterbeer. Um, make like we're chatting while you're listening in on Ray Pick. You shouldn't have said that. I mean, especially with Rakepick in the room. I mean, she's right here. Is she deaf?
And it's time for another break. After this, guys. Okay, let's let's do this. Thanks for doing this, Hagrid. By pretending to talk with me, you really made it easier to spy on Rake Pig. Still, you should go before she catches your spying. Uh, catches on you. Catches on your spying, so magical. Look, she's talking to Madame Rosmerta. Huh. Is it true that you knew Jacob Baratical? It is. It, is this how you typically greet people? I understand he left a notebook that had been transfigured into a black quill. Are you planning on ordering a drink? Otherwise, I have paying customers to attend to. Did he also leave a map? Excuse me? A map of Hogwarts. And the castle grounds, Mr. Filch confiscated it years ago, but it's no longer in his office. I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. I'll need to check your storeroom. Over my dead body? That can be arranged. Some of my best customers are from the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. A couple of them from the Aura office. Should I let them know you're threatening their favourite pub? And it's very patient landlady? Oh. Try cleaning this clump. You might uncover my map. Your map. And avoid having to pay your disrespect. Uh, for your disrespect. Have a pleasant day, dear. Don't dare step foot in my establishment again. Well, that was quite dramatic. Do you know what map she's talking about? I heard rumours. Of her sometimes running a group. Who had a magical map back when she was a student. Probably just a rumour. You're probably right. Either way, I better see what else she knows. And... Da -da -da -dun 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 -dun. We need to take another break because we have to wait for the next mission. Okay, guys, let's get back on with what we're supposed to be doing. Here we go. We now spy upon Rake Pick in the hospital wing. Excuse me, Madam Pumphrey. Professor Snape sent me to retrieve some of the scarab beetles he gave you. Mm. That's fine. Scarab beetles won't help these students stricken with the sleepwalking curse. Can I do anything to help? You can tend to the patients and provide a comforting presence. Oh. Madame Raypick has been kind enough to visit the cursed students since the moment she returned to Hogwarts. I'm sure she has. I'll do my best to watch what she does. And in the meantime, 
Perhaps I'll learn more information to bring back to Professor Snape. Okay then. I guess we'll be breaking off again. See you afterwards, guys. Okay, guys, let's get back to this. So. Jeez, Louise. Ooh. That's 38 days. Mm. Just over a calendar month. Oh. Mm. Oh. Huh. Well, way over that. Did you learn anything you hope by spying on me? I have no idea what you're talking about. There is more truth to that. There is more truth in that statement than you will ever know. Give Severus Snape my regards. And we need to stop for another break, guys. We'll finish up after this. Okay, let's finish this by talking to Professor Snape. Not right now. Well, no. oh, we have to go through a potions class first. So, guys, we need to take one last break. So, I'll see you after this. Okay, guys. Let's finish this thing, shall we? And you're lucky for that. Never discuss our arrangement or anything having to do with rapic around your fellow students. Why? I don't believe she's working alone. 
and I believe at least one of her co-conspirators is a student in Slytherin. Why do you think that? It's irrelevant. Tell me what you learned about Rakepick. She has a key from Filch's office. She says someone sent it to him. He says someone sent it to him. Along with three black quills. She wants to know who. Go on. She's looking for a magical map of Hogwarts that used to be kept in Filch's office. She thinks my brother may have had it on at one time. Also, you should never mess with Madame Rosmerta. What else? She knows you sent me to spy on her. Obviously. You knew? Ray Pick has many flaws, but stupidity is not one. She said that she wanted me to hear and will wait for my response. You use me? In an attempt to save Hogwarts and your unfortunate existence, don't be so sensitive. Since you chose to help me investigate Ray Pick, I am giving 20 points to Hufflepuff. Take this. What is it? Garrotting gas. Anyone who breathes it will choke. Rake Pick may try to kill you. And this may save your life. I will call on you again to help me expose her, Baratical. <sighs> Continue to follow my orders, and I will teach you a curse I invented that I have never shown anyone. <laughs> oh my god, come on! Is he actually going to teach us Sectum Sempra? I mean, come on. Anyway, guys, that's it for the story of this chapter. Uh, so that would be the end of this episode. Uh, join me next time, won't you? Until then, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And have us a magical time.